Hi guys, today we're going to be reading a book called Keep Calm, My Stress Busting Tips. Um, and it's about Anna, whose parents show her several ways to deal with stress. When she tries them, she shrinks her stress and feels better. So maybe some of the strategies you see in here that Anna uses and is taught, maybe you can use them at home if you're feeling stressed out at any point. Chapter 1, Too Many Worries. My name's Anna. I'm the goalie for my soccer team. Today is game day. First, I have to finish my math homework and my spelling homework. They're both due tomorrow. Uh-oh, what if I'm not done in time? Math plus spelling plus soccer equals stress. Mom says stress is something we feel. She says it comes from being worried. My family members have different worries, but we all feel stress. Mom worries about keeping my little sister Amy safe. Dad worries about being late for work. Everyone has worries. Take time to figure out yours. That's the first step to dealing with stress. Having a lot to do makes me worry. Mom says my schedule is busy. On Mondays, I play soccer. On Wednesdays, I take piano lessons. But I also have homework and chores. Stress adds up. Every activity comes with responsibilities. Try not to sign up for too many activities at a time. Fewer responsibilities equal fewer worries. Chapter two, time out for bad stress. Dad says some worrying is okay. It gives us good stress. Good stress is helpful. Worrying about a test makes us study. We try our best and the stress goes away. Goodbye stress. Dad says if we keep worrying, good stress can turn bad. Bad stress harms our body. Our head and stomach hurt. We feel tired. Stress can even make us forgetful. Is my spelling test tomorrow? When we worry, our bodies make a special chemical. The chemical is called adrenaline. It boosts our energy, but too much adrenaline wears us down. It stops our bodies from relaxing. Bad stress puts me in a bad mood. Last week, I worried about finishing my book report. Amy wanted to play, but I yelled, leave me alone. I was really sorry. I gave my bad stress a time out. Being worried can change our mood. It can make us mad, scared, or shy. We also do things we don't usually do. We bite our nails. We, carry about, we cry about going to school. Taking time for fun helps us feel happy again. Chapter 3. Game time. Phew. My homework is D-O-N-E done. Game time. Playing soccer helps my stress go away. So does reading or watching my favorite TV shows. Hanging out with friends does too. Want to beat stress? Exercise. Eat fruits, vegetables, and other healthy foods. Do something nice for someone. You can also try positive talk. Instead of saying, I can't, say, I can. Cheer yourself on and cheer up. Mom says keeping our worries inside makes stress grow. Talking about our worries is healthier. My family and I have dinner talk. We share how our day went. When someone has a problem, we solve it together. Dinner talk ends with a hug, then dessert. Some families have busy schedules. They can't always eat dinner together. If your family's schedule is busy, plan a different time to talk. How about at breakfast or before bed? After you talk, share a hug too. Do you worry about getting into trouble, fitting in, trying something new? These worries add up to stress. Talk about your worries. Make time for fun. Shrink your stress and stay healthy. And so here we have a strategy on taking a belly breath. And so that's breathing in with your belly and breathing out through your nose. So if you pause here, you can go ahead and try out taking a belly breath. And here's a glossary of words that you might not know and that are useful for whenever you're trying to deal with and combat stress. Another good strategy would be to write things down. So take some time in the morning to reflect how you're feeling for the day. And then from there, you can go ahead and write down your feelings or draw your feelings or color your feelings out so that you can get rid of them and feel much better about everything that's happening.